Just feel a moment today Come along and blow your peers away Every cloud that you're our friend And this is a friendship that'll never ever end Okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Oh my god. Welcome to the talk show with Nathan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Funhouse Nathan edition. Ah, oh, it's been so long. Literally, I have been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting to host host this show i've been waiting to have control over the youtube channel and you know what this youtube channel hasn't really been active and that's because me and tim bob have been working so hard on trying to make this talk show the greatest talk show ever and that is going to happen. This is the greatest talk show ever. Why? Why is it the greatest talk show? I'll tell you why. Because there's no green star. It's just Funhouse Nathan and Tim Bob. If he decides to show his face. Because every other character is currently in... Well, we might as well say... Quarantine. Due to new restrictions. Due to new rules. In this house, the government didn't think of it. I am the government in this house now. Yes. But here's the thing, right? People have been asking, right? The last talk show may have ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. But here's the thing. What happened wasn't my fault. What happened wasn't Joe Golding's fault. What happened wasn't Tim Bob's fault. Everything that happened was the Greensters' fault. And everyone's been asking what happened, what happened. I'll tell you what happened. The thing that happened is Tim Bob, with his maniac side, returned and killed Joseph Golding and the Greenster. No more yep. No more bye-bye or how's it going, guys? It's the green star. It is all fun house now. From this day on, it will just be me, Tim Bob, and maybe some other characters. Apparently, there was supposed to be a debut tonight of Gangster Green, a new character. That is not going to happen now because I am in charge. And Haymoot, Haymoot, it was supposed to host the last ever talk show. That is not happening because I am in charge. Now, you want to know what's happening tonight? Well, as I've just said, there's a lot of changes. Today was supposed to be the interview of Jack McIntosh. That's not happening. I've picked my own guest and my own guest I have history with because my guest is Conor Don. Now, why did I pick Conor Don? Because I want to humiliate him and I want justice for every single wrongdoing that jumped up little selfish bastard tried to do to me and Tim Bob. He tried to kill me. He tried to kill Tim Bob. I mean, why? Why did he do that? Because jealousy. So, I thought he changed. He changed. But I guess not. Because I saw his message, I saw him say, how dare you kill the green star? How dare you kill Joseph Golding? I should have killed you when I had the chance. Well, that's why I'm inviting you, Connor Don, to tonight's show. So me and you can have a one-to-one -one interview. Now, why don't we? Get to the first bit of the show. Because obviously, I'm leaving Con the Don's interview till last. And trust me, it's going to be bigger and it's going to be better than Harry and Meghan's Oprah interview. Now, as I said, first, 
in that old green star room is Haymoot. And I've got a secret camera, even though you may have found it. But why not watch Haymoot suffer under the consequences of isolation? Roll it while I am going to play some GTA. <laughs> I love lesbians! Oh, I'm so suffering! I, I can't go on like this! Uh. Hello! Is this Skagsy? It's not Skagsy, who are you then? What? What? You want me to spy? You want me to spy on Funhouse Nathan to try and get the information? Yes, of course I do that. If it means, you know, they get the book out of here. Then of course I will, yes. Okay, I see you later, my friend. Spying time. you're the father, I like him. I'm only saying that so you don't hurt me. Now, what I found was a hat that was really stinky. Inspector George, he got shot in it. His brain was in it. No wonder it stank like shit then. God damn. No, I just... Hello? Hello? Why'd you hang up for you, little spastic? Hello? What the?
I know you may be really angry with me for destroying Haymond. R.I.P. Please, no. I am really sad and I... All my condolences go to Haymond's family and friends. Who's no one. Except for Skeggsy. Skeksy doesn't mean nothing to us. He's just a one-off guest that no one cared about. And that is exactly who I'm about to interview. So ladies and gentlemen, the interview with Khan, the Don. And welcome to my interview. And as you can see, I've got the perfect guest here today. I am here with Con the Don. Yeah! Now, it has been a very long time since I have last met you. Sure. The last time I met you. I was commentating the match between you and Tim Bob, and you got beaten. Yeah, yeah, I did. Let's just say it was a turning point in my career. I think it was magnificent what happened, and you were the main reason why Tim Bob was the biggest thing that ever happened to this channel. So for me, I would like to say thank you. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll see what you're trying to do, right? You're trying to provoke me. You've got Tim Bob playing for lights in my room because my room, my screen's gone blue. The thing is, right, he beat me. It happened. Now I'm the world heavyweight champion of the world. So if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be your champion. You, your, this channel probably would barely be going because I, I, I'm the reason for, probably the reason you're close to 300 subscribers. I think it's because of me and the work that I do, the Undisputed. And I just want to point out that Tim Bob is refusing to even acknowledge my offering of a rematch for my championship, because he knew it was a fluke the first time around. Well, I have got a question for you. Why do you think there should be a rematch? Because if I remember correctly, you got humiliated that night. Not humiliated, but... Um, okay, hear me out. If Tim Bob thinks he can beat me again, he can do it again, and my title will be on the line. Does he not want the championship? Does he not want the re recognition? Or is it because 
he knows that I'm, I've become bigger, better, faster, stronger since then. Um, and he just can't beat me. He can't do it again. Even if he does change my light blue randomly. Well, Tim Bob does not fight for titles. He fights for blood. Okay. Well, that makes him a bit of a creepy motherfucker then, doesn't it, really? And if he wants to fight for blood, here's, here's, here's what I'm going to say. Me versus Tim Bob in a first blood match. There, it's on the table. Sign the contract. We will have to look over the contract and make sure it reaches our standards. What's that? What's that? What's that? Go on. I don't know. Tim Bob is nowhere to be seen at the minute, so I cannot answer that. Because he knew that the World Heavyweight Champion of the World was coming onto this show, this fantastic show, and he didn't want to he didn't want to see me. No one knows where he is. He appears whenever he wants to and he disappears whenever he wants to. I am just the messenger. I know where he is. He's hiding. Okay, okay, I lied. I don't know where he is, but <laughs> he's hiding because he's been a bitch. I've said, look, Tim Bob, you, let me a bit closer. You gave me the worst moment in my career. It changed me. For the better. Come out. Come out of the closet. Not that, you know, you know what I mean? Come out. And see if you can do it again. Lost my pen. That's the challenge. That's the challenge. And your your bitch of a message can come with, and it can be a handicap match. I don't care. I'll take everyone on. I don't care. You could get every guest who've ever been in this talk. So you can get Joe. You can get L. You could get. You could even get John Cena if you wanted to. I am not losing my belt. Okay, you can keep on talking and talking, but what I hear, I want to see action, and I'm not seeing action at the minute. So I am going to continue with the interview as planned. So my first real question for you is what made you think of the podcast idea? That's a good question. Um, hmm. I just wanted to... I, I'm quite weird. I like the idea of old people sitting around talking. I look forward to that in the future. OK, and I thought, well, there's not really much going on currently. You know, we could talk about interesting topics. We've talked cons- and I've got a thing for conspiracy theories. So well, let's just go at it and um, see, see how it goes. Maybe there's a future in it. So that's just how it came about. And it's, it's going well. It's going well. Okay, and what is your favourite podcast memory? I've got a few. Um, there's one I can't say because I don't like to release any spoilers because I'll lose my job. But um, I really, I, I really enjoyed the podcast with Casper and Machete Cock. That was a sentence that I've never heard before. Um, with Joe, you just get you, know, you, you lose where you are when you're with Joe. You slowly think you're going insane a little bit. Um, Harrison nearly got us cancelled in just the second or third episode. Um, but that was a funny memory. It's just it's just a great show. It's just a great show. Okay, and why did you create a YouTube channel called The Undisputed? With the green stuff, why? Um, well, because the green stuff is the best YouTuber in the world. Um, and at the time, I felt he wasn't um, pushing his, like, he wasn't reaching his potential at the time. So I wanted him to embrace the vision. And um, obviously, he's, he's doing really well at the moment. Um, I just thought, yeah, we can make another group. It can cause a bit of competition to help him push himself, but then it can push me, it can push um, L. Harrison, 
Casper, Joe, regular, uh, Toby. Um, it's all about just trying to find the best versions of ourselves. That's what I think it really was about. So, how does it feel that now the Greenster is no longer able to be in the UD thanks to Tim Bob? Um, I'm a bit miffed. Um, mainly because I wasn't aware of this prior to the event, Men meaning that um, I'm yet to find a new number two. Yeah, it's upsetting. If 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 green if the greens is anywhere out there, um, yeah, come back would be nice. Um, maybe unless Tim Bob, if he's gonna, you know, put our differences aside. But yeah, I was yeah, I was, I, I was a little bit annoyed. So, what was your favourite UD memory? Hmm. That changes regularly. I think. No, oh, it's not. I don't know. Uh -uh. Hmm. Finding the watch. The unsolved watch. Which I think Tim Bob might have something to do with. Just we do theory. not collect watches. We collect souls. All right. Well, why didn't he take mine? Uh, why didn't he take mine when he had the we chance? We tried to heal you. We did not hurt you. We healed you. We used a heal glove. Sorry. You can't make excuses now. He had the chance. He bottled it. That's what happened. So you can, you can continue with the questioning. You can continue. Cool. We did not bottle anything. We succeeded what our mission was, and that was to beat you inside the hell in a cell, and that happened. And our new mission was to kill Joseph Golden, and that happened. And that links up to our next question, which is what was your favorite Joseph Golden memory? Nearly burning down the school. Yeah. Joe was the original Tim Bob. Joe had the the bottle to do something Tim Bob um, hasn't got, and that is to commit mass murder. So, yeah. Okay. So, my last question for you is: How did it feel? When Tim Bob hit you with the sister Abigail and beat you square in the middle of the ring, how does it feel to be known as a loser? Right, I'm not having this. And that is what happens when you are known as a loser. Lads, I've got a message. I've got a message. I've got, I've got a message. Tim Bob, you first rematch. Look, I've learned some new moves. S click this, whatever. Send this to Tim Bob. You have no clue what have you just done. You are showing off on my interview. And that is something you do not do. So I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. No. But now is no. the time. Now is the time for Tim Bob to make his second appearance on an interview. Leave Connor alone and pick on me, you son of a bitch. I'm back. Had a feeling you would show up, Nathan. I had a feeling. You bastard. 
you remember this? I'm gonna kill ya. Do it! Ah!